Another risk I have to ask you about, Ruth, is antitrust. And the Biden administration has brought on some high profile antitrust advocates in recent weeks. What is your assessment of potentially where that could lead and how concerned are you in terms of this as a business risk? This is not new for Google, and there have been, you know, kind of inquiries around the globe over time, and our approach has been to constructively engage with regulators. Our view is that people come to Google not because they have to, but because they want to. And, you know, I'll, I'll never forget back in 1998 when I first heard about Google, and I think at the time it was the eighth search engine. And... Probably like many, my reaction is, why do you need yet another search engine? And the reality is it was uh, higher quality, better experience, more relevant results, and therefore Google broke through the pack. And core to this has really been just this ongoing commitment to innovation. So as an example, you know, what, one of the things that we talked about on our, our most recent couple of earnings calls are some of the new breakthroughs that make the search experience better. There's something called BERT, which is a natural language translation that provides better sense of context when you're answering, asking a question and therefore a more specific and relevant response using AI. Uh, there's another one that's a fate, you know, I think everyone's favorite is you can hum a song. And even if you hum as poorly as I do, you. Google will help you identify what was that song. So we continue through technology innovation to make it fun, quirky, relevant. And I think that's at the core of what we're focused on. We want to engage constructively with debate. We want to continue innovating for the user. But our view very strongly is people come to Google because they want to, not because they have to.